He's just a fantastic talent. He really has got something special, I think. But he's only seven, and he's only been playing 11 months. <laughs> Um, 43 and practice. It was just a, a father son games of pool, really, um, until Liam one day decided that he'd uh, like to have a game of snooker. So we took him to the Red Triangle Club in Crosby's, and he, he was spotted from there, really. He came down, killed the balls, if you kill the balls, and he said, Is he all right to play? I said, No problem. So he joined the Junior Academy, and that's really where I started seen him play and I've watched him progress. In Liam's case, you know, um, being seven years of age, he, he, first of all, you just got to let him enjoy it. Give him some little, little pointers, but, you know, not, not too much at his age. The improvements he, he's made already are unbelievable, really, so you know, just, just let him carry on the way he is. He just absolutely loves it. His enthusiasm for it is frightening. He, you know, he's, he's doing everything else. He does his two hours every single day. And I'm sure if he could play, he'd stay there for eight hours with his father and mother, he'd stay there for eight hours a day, he just can't get enough of it. With a major snooker event on their doorstep, father and son came down here to the Welsh Open to experience the atmosphere and meet some of Liam's heroes. <laughs> yeah, this is Ronnie. I mean, that's he takes everything in, you know, if he sees Ronnie playing something in a certain way, you know, he, he tries and, you know, he'll go to the club and... I'll go to the, you know, see him on Saturday and he'll be trying something new and I say, oh, where did you learn that? Oh, well, I've seen Ronnie do it and, you know, so uh, he'll, he'll certainly be watching and, and trying to pick up as many tips as he possibly can. First and foremost, he plays because he, he loves it and he enjoys it and that, that's certainly what he's got to do. If he keeps improving the way he has, there's every chance he's going to be a very, very good player in a few years' time. He seems to have mapped it all out for himself and he knows what he wants and, and how he's going to achieve it. So yeah, yeah, as a family we're very supportive of him. I'm very proud too. But I think if he stays on the straight and narrow and his enthusiasm five or six years down the road is the same as it is now, there's no reason why he couldn't be a possible future world champion.